Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about Ophthalmic Viscosurgical Devices. Ophthalmic Viscosurgical Devices are abbreviated as OVDs and they are also known as Viscoelastics. They are biopolymers that play a critical role in modern cataract surgery. There are three types of OVDs. They are Cohesive OVDs, Dispersive OVDs and Adaptive OVDs. Cohesive OVDs create and maintain intraocular spaces. For example, they are helpful in maintaining the anterior chamber during capsular excess and they can also be used to inflate the capsular bag to facilitate introduction of intraocular lens. Higher molecular weight variants of cohesive OVDs maintain intraocular space more efficiently but they tend to promote iris prolapse in shallow anterior chambers and confer a more sustained post-operative IOP race. Examples for cohesive OVDs include Helon and Helon GV which is manufactured by Abbott, Amvisc and Amvisc Plus, which is manufactured by Bosch and Lom, Provisc by Alcon and Apavisc by Apaswami. This picture shows Helon, which contains 10 mg per ml, that is 1% sodium hyaluronate. Apavisc contains 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Coming to dispersive OVDs, they are more adherent to surfaces than cohesive OVDs and are typically used to protect endothelium. They are more difficult to remove from eye than cohesive viscoelastics but are less likely to cause an IOP spike. The disadvantage of dispersive OVD is they have a tendency to retain air bubbles and lens fragments compromising surgical view. Examples for dispersive OVDs include Aquacoat which is manufactured by Bosch & Lam, Viscoat by Alcon and Helon Endocoat by Abbott. Aquacoat contains 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and viscoat contains sodium hyaluronate 3% and chondritin sulfate 4%. This picture shows viscoat which contains a combination of sodium hyaluronate and chondritin sulfate. Coming to adaptive OVDs, they show mixed characteristics of both cohesive and dispersive OVDs. An example is Helon 5 which has 2.3% sodium hyaluronate. This picture shows Helon 5 which is an adaptive OVD and which contains 23 mg per ml of sodium hyaluronate. Coming to the uses of viscoelastics, viscoelastics can be used as soft shell technique. This is done prior to capsulotomy stage. Here we use an outer dispersive layer followed by an inner cohesive nucleus. This is useful in cases where there is a higher risk of corneal decomposition like corneal gutteta. Viscoelastics can be used for pupillary manipulation. During cataract surgery, when, a, when there is a small pupil, a high molecular weight cohesive viscoelastic like Helon GV will push iris away from lens and help to induce vitreosis. Adaptive OVD's cohesive effect can be used to dilate pupil intraoperatively and their dispersive effect can be used to maintain dilatation. OVD's can also be used to break posterior synechae with minimal trauma. Other uses of OVD's include cortical manipulation. OVDs can be useful to dissect cortex away from lens capsule to minimize traction on fragile zonular ligaments. Capsular excess rescue. If a capsular excess shows signs of running out to periphery, injecting a cohesive viscoelastic will flatten the anterior capsule, aiding exertion of a centrally directed vector and helping to expand pupil. Capsular rupture. In a small posterior capsular tear, a dispersive viscoelastic will push vitreous back into the posterior chamber and maintain plugging of capsular defect which facilitates completion of lens removal. Thank you.